So I realized in the last video we didn't open up the Popcorn Hauer C200, so I wanted to take a chance to open it up here. I've removed all the screws, it didn't take me very long, so that I can kind of show you exactly what's inside here. First of all, you've got your hot swap backplane here for the three and a half inch drive, and you can see that you can remove this whole thing, and you can remove the three and a half inch mounting plate that's in here, the adapter, and that's how you mount in the five and a quarter inch Blu-ray drive, okay? Now under there, just because you mount a five and a quarter inch drive, the Blu-ray disc, doesn't mean you can't put in a hard drive. You can still mount a two and a half inch hard drive, which come in up to 500 gigs these days, right down here, and use the additional provided SATA power and SATA cables just like that, and they've actually done a really nice job of the wire management in here for you as well. Now I just want to have a quick look at the main board itself over here, so you can see you've got your, here's your wireless receiver here, it runs to the antenna at the back, here's the CPU itself, that's the Sigma CPU, and if you want to add a fan, there's actually a, fed, a header for the CPU fan, as well as a header for a rear 60 mil fan. Now another thing I wanted to point out is you've got yet another USB port, so that brings us up to a total of five USB ports on this unit, and then here we have a power supply, which I can't see how many 2 amp max. Do, 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 do. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so we got the power supply that's there. Okay, it looks kind of like a PC motherboard, like about a mini ITX size motherboard. You've even got like a standard 20 pin, it says ATX right on it connector. Anyway, I just wanted to take a chance to uh, open up the Popcorn Hour C200 and show you the guts. Thank you for checking out my video blog.